What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining the Shooting Gallery in New England today. My name's Joe. We're going to be going over a super dope old school Winchester. It is the Winchester Model 77. Check it out. Like I said, guys, welcome back. We appreciate you swinging by. Uh, I have to give a big shout out to our lovely employer, uh, Cape Gun Works. Check them out online. They were gracious enough to let me use the range for the shooting footage of this video. So please go on you know what. Use that super secret discount code that I always like to show right about here. And you can save yourself 10% off your entire order at you know what. So guys, this has been a video in the making for a while. I picked this up a couple months back and I just haven't really had a chance to really film a video on it. I do want to give a big shout out to my boy Russell at work. He was the one who actually sold it to me. I didn't buy it from Cape Gunworks, but I did buy it from Cape Gunworks employees. So my buddy Russell, shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much. I love the rifle. Uh, I will admit, Winchester, they are like the quintessential american made brand they made the winchester 94 the winchester model 70 which has probably killed more deer on this continent than probably anything in existence uh winchester did do a run of 22s but this uh this rifle was made between the years of 1953 and 1964 um they made about 220,000 of them, give or take. I could be wrong on the numbers, but they made a boatload of these. These things were introduced with their Winchester Model 88 lever action, their 100th anniversary series, Centennial models. Um, they were in production for a while. This gun, I'm not going to lie, it's uh, seasoned. Check it out. <laughs> As you can see from the footage, guys, this thing is ammo finicky. I knew when I bought this gun that it liked hot rounds. With this gun, so far, I've put Winchester White Box, that 550 pack. I've put some Aguila Super Extra rounds. I've put uh, Federal Auto Match. I haven't put Mini Max through yet because I can't find Mini Max anywhere. So I'm just saying, if there's anybody that knows where I can get Mini Max, I might have to check out my buddy Gun Foodie at thegunfood.com and uh, see if he's got Mini Max because damn, I can't find him anywhere. But this thing is ammo finicky. I do like the rifle, it is accurate, it does have some reminisce esque features of my Marlin Model 60, but. It's a Winchester. If it has a stallion on it, you know it's right. Check it out. <laughs> there we go. Now let's get over some specs on the Winchester Model 77. Obviously, it's a 22 long rifle. It has a 22 inch barrel. Overall weight is about five pounds. Uh, it's a blowback style action. They actually have two different variants. This one is a eight round box magazine, but they also have a 10 to 15 round, I believe it's a 15 round tubular magazine uh, variant. I don't have that one. I had the box mag. Uh, it is a obviously 22 rifle, it doesn't take 22 shorts, doesn't take 22 longs, it's just 22 long rifle. It has a walnut stock, uh, standard uh, aluminum uh, alloy receiver. It, it's, it is a old school gun. 
Uh, it does have the charging handle on the side, like right in front of the receiver. That's why it kind of really drew me to it. I do like that older style 22 LR. As you guys know, I love my 22s. I shoot a ton of them. I collect these old 22s, and this fit my budget. Um, they definitely uh, advertise this gun as a squirrel getter or squirrel accuracy, if such. That's not a lot of specs because I couldn't find as much specs as you possibly can think of uh, with an old school Winchester that was made between 1953 and 1964. So, hey, it's, it is what it is. But those are the specs. Do with them what you will. Please shout down in the comments if you've ever had any experience with the Winchester Model 77. So, guys, we're going to go into some pros and cons of this rifle. The Winchester Model 77, again, it's a 22 LR box fed magazine it is not a ruger 1022 so we're not going to get ruger 1022 reliability obviously it is not a marlin model 60 if you guys would like to see a comparison of all three of these rifles please shoot that down in the comments and maybe we can get make that video happen uh, i do have actually all three of these rifles so it's not going to be that hard to check uh figure out but well number one pro is it's a 22 love me some 22 i have a metric ton of it so i don't have to worry about ammo Secondly, I do like the fact that the weight of it, it's not too heavy, it's not front heavy like a Marlin Model 60 is with that magazine fed uh, variant. I don't really have to deal with, you know, the, the bottom barrel or the bottom magazine tube weighing the rifle down. I don't have that issue. Now, I do have a few cons. <laughs> As you've seen throughout this entire video, it's kind of a jam matic usually between like the 5th and 6th round in that gun it's jamming up it's almost like it's getting out there i suspect with my massive gunsmith knowledge and again i, I use that term very loosely i'm a glorified parts match swapper but in my experience i think a good cleaning with some aegis gun care again guys use hashtag joe juice for 15 percent off your entire order at aegisguncare.com shameless plug but also, I know Numerich Arms, they are notorious for having every type of part you can possibly think of for these old style guns. So I think it would behoove me to get some new springs, recoil spring, extractor springs, just kind of update the gun. It's, you know, it's not uncommon to replace springs in old Winchester 22s or old Remington 22 rifles. That's just something you're going to have to do down the road. Now... Third, uh, second or third con, I don't know what we're up to, but this is another con, the magazine availability. I've looked high and low, and when I do find them, they're like 50, 60 bucks for an eight round, 22 round magazine. That's just something you gotta deal with. This, I, would consider, I would consider this some sort of American surplus, but 50, 60 bucks for an eight round mag, that's kinda steep. When in reality, my Ruger 1022, I can spend 50, 60 bucks and get a three pack of BX 10 mags. So you weigh the pros and the cons with that. Another pro is I did not spend that much money on it. So I know you can get these for relatively between on the high end, 250, low end, like, you know, buck 90. Um, but again, it's a 22. It's a trainer. Obviously, another pro is this gun trains you to work on uh, manipul uh, malfunction drills. You know this gun's gonna malfunction. So it trains you to work the action, figure out what's going on. So when you're, you know, if you wanted to use this as a 22 trainer for some reason, you know you're gonna have malfunctions. It will help you with malfunction handling. That can be a pro. Some people think, oh, that thing is a piece of crap. I don't want it, but again, it's all what your needs are. If you find you can probably find one of these guns in great condition. Again, I think I should just give it a really good cleaning and replace the springs, and we'll be fine. But pros and cons, that's pretty much what I'm dealing with with this rifle so far. So another good thing is it does rapid fire. I was able to get this to rapid fire. Check it out. So as you can see, once it has actually the right ammunition, I did again go between two ammunitions. That's all I really had available at the time. But again, it's a blowback 22. It's going to be ammo finicky. It's just something every gun owner is going to have to deal with. You're going to get a 22 that likes certain rounds. My Marlin Model 60 
loves mini mags and loves auto mash. It hates Winchester white box. Hates it. It, it, it all depends. So don't think this review is just bashing a Winchester Model 77. It's just, this is my experiences with it so far. I have about probably two, 300 rounds through it. So that's what I've dealt with so far. But I would say for a blowback 22, this thing can be a great buy just to add into the collection. You want to buy a Winchester, but you don't want to pay Winchester pricing, depending where you look on Gun Broker or online auction sites across the interwebs or you see it in a pawn shop, it all depends. It's an affordable price Winchester 22 and you have some type of Winchester in your collection, which is also always good to say, yeah, I have some type of Winchester. So just keep that in mind is you're able to get a brand that is an American made brand that is considered a, I would consider this gun a surplus American made surplus rifle. So keep that in mind too. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's review of the Winchester Model 77. At the current time of this filming, I'm actually getting ready to go on vacation, go see my dad. So if you see this video this week, this might be the only video you see this week because I'm spending time with my family down south and uh, we probably won't even be having the podcast following this video. I think it's April 27th. Uh, or no, April 27th, 30th, it's one, around there. That's the time frame of this video if you're watching this like later on. Uh, but at the time of this filming, I'm actually getting ready to go on vacation. So, sorry if we haven't had that much videos this week. You know we're going to be back at it. We're going to be giving you some great reviews, great product demonstrations. We still got the Alien Gear drop leg holster for the Glock 19. Uh, we still got the Warcat Tactical in the waistband holster. We got a lot of stuff coming down the pipe, guys. So please... Do me a favor. First of all, thank you so much to Cape Gunworks for letting me use the range today for this review. Make sure you use that code right there and you can save yourself 10% off the entire order at You know what? And also, thank you to my friend Russell for giving me such a good rifle. I like this rifle. If I found it again, maybe I'd buy it. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. This is probably the first rifle in a while where I'm just like teeter-tottering like yay, nay. It all depends on the condition of the rifle. But stay safe, stay shooting. I'm going to see you soon. Peace.